from hell's heart I stab at thee. Oh, boy. For hate's sake, I spit <laughs> my last breath at thee. What did I do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but I'll tell you what we did was we just, to get in the mood for this sketch, we watched the original Star Trek episode, Space Seed, with Khan. And yes. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, the movie, the great movie. We and did. now we're all keyed up. I'm all keyed up. It, we are. It was an emotional roller coaster. Yes. We are all keyed up, but we need to talk about the drawing. All right. Let's, all right. We'll get that out of the way. And then I want to talk about that other stuff. Yeah. I, I, it was a real basic sketch. And I used pit artist pens for this, uh, for this tiny little hatching stuff. And the uh, Sakura Pigma brush pens for the, the thicker lines that have a little more weight to them. Nice. And it's uh, all on 5 by 7 Bristol, which is, I mean, it's convenient yeah. to, you know, if you want to hand out a, like a con sketch or something, a con sketch. <laughs> but it's, it's smaller than I like to work. Yeah. Because there's a lot of detail in here. And working small is hard. Yeah. You know, for I the prefer, detail, yeah. Yeah, like I would prefer to do this digitally where I could zoom in to, or, or just on a much bigger piece of paper. Right. You know, it's not, this, and this scene really didn't occur in the, in the film or the show. Yeah. This is kind of an amalgam of things. Like, it's just really, it's supposed to capture his, like the character and the tone and his physicality like the pecs. Oh, yeah. The pecs. Yes. <laughs> oh, you noticed? Yeah, I did. Uh, they're nice pecs. <laughs> yeah. So this is really just an idea of Khan, the character. It's not supposed to be uh, a portrait of Ricardo Montalban. Who was made for these this part. He was perfect. 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 And, you know, so, yeah. So while the likeness isn't dead on, I, I think it's about as good as what they sculpted into the Mego action figure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I... It's fine. It's good. It's fine. Now, episode 22 or 23, depending on if you count the pilot of the original series, Space Seed, uh, that's where where we meet Khan. What are your thoughts? Well, he's scary. He's scary. Uh, brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think he's charming. He is disarmingly charming. Yeah. Like like some tyrants can be. Right. Exactly. But, yeah, I could tell that you found him charming. <laughs> I have a feeling that you would have pulled a MacGyver's, a Lieutenant MacGyver's, and helped him overthrow the Enterprise. Yeah, I might have. I might have, too. Yeah, right? He, I mean, Yeah. I mean, even uh, Kirk and, and his crew were talking about that. Right, they're sitting around the table, and they're, they're talking with admiration about Khan's yeah. accomplishments. But, like we said, he's a dangerous tyrant. Dangerous. Uh, and by his own account, five times as strong as a regular human. Right, so dangerous. Yeah, and at some point he, he gets into a fight with Kirk, a, a physical fight. Right. Who just defeated the Gorn? He did. So, <laughs> like, what was Khan thinking? Right. <laughs> I guess he didn't know. <laughs> well, all right, so then Kirk does defeat Khan, spoilers, and he sends him down with his entire crew of genetically altered Superman yeah. to SETI Alpha 5. Yes. This <laughs> is SETI Alpha 5. That's at the end of the episode. He sends them down there and he tells them, look, make a go of it. You know, you see what you can do with your great society of Superman. Right. And, and at the end of the episode, Kirk is like, well, one of these days I'd like to go back and, and see what what they accomplished but he never does yeah, he doesn't he doesn't until by accident they run across Khan's crew after a disastrous event occurs on SETI Alpha 5 and that's where we come in with Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan right now your impressions of Khan in that movie huh. well it's 15 years later right 15 years um, have passed lots of stuff has happened Right. He doesn't seem to be as charming to me. In the no, SETI Alpha 6 blew up. Right. And uh, it knocked SETI Alpha 5 out of orbit. Yeah. Uh, his crew has been decimated. His wife, MacGyver's, I'm assuming. Yeah. His wife is dead. Right. And he is angry. Angry. Angry at Starfleet. 
yeah. particularly angry at Kirk. Kirk. So, not as charming? Not as charming, J- just because he he's after Kirk. Right. Well, yeah. you wouldn't be charming either after all that. No. Yeah. And he was, he was fueled by vengeance. Yes. Against Kirk, which is interesting because, uh, you like clearly he's read Moby Dick. They show it on his bookshelf, right. and he quotes it the whole movie. He does. But he failed to learn the lesson yes. of Moby Dick. I don't think he finished the book. He might not have had time to finish it. <laughs> he might not have. Trying to survive on that planet. Ah, the line, still alive, my old friend. Still, <laughs> old friend. You've managed to kill just about everyone else. But like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. <laughs> You're going to be quoting the movie all day, aren't you? <laughs> I am going to quote it the whole day. Feel free to join in. Because uh, right. you know what? It gets under your skin. It does. It's a great episode and it's a great movie. We had a good time. A great time. Good afternoon. Yeah. Watching TV and drawing. Could it be any better? Right? <laughs> so we'll def- we should do this again. We should. We'll do it real soon. Yeah. Plus, every sketch is just more practice. Absolutely. Aw, Aw sweet. Yeah. You know, we learned that the real Wrath of Khan was the friends we made along the way. 